The equation for electric power is P is equal to I times delta V, where P is the power rating, or the power consumed, in watts. I is the current, of course, in amps, and delta V is the electric pressure, or the electric potential difference, or the voltage difference, and of course the unit for delta V is volts. Let's try an example problem. A microwave has a power rating of 1.0 times 10 to the third watts. What current flows through it? We are given the power, and we want to know the current, which is symbolized by capital I, but we really are stuck at this point because in order to calculate the current, if we know what the power is, we would need to know what the voltage difference is. We are supposed to know that in the United States the pressure difference from a standard outlet is 120 volts. So we shouldn't have to put that into a problem. So there's the current that's pulled by a microwave. A refrigerator pulls 6.25 amps. What is its power rating? Again, we're going to use the same equation. We're going to assume that we're in the United States and that a refrigerator is plugged into a standard outlet, so the current is 6.25 amps and the pressure difference is 120. Notice that in this problem I worded it in such a way that it doesn't say a refrigerator pulls a current of 6.25 amps. I just said a refrigerator pulls 6.25 amps. I'm wanting you to have to think to figure out, wait a minute, what kind of a quantity is this? And when we look at the unit, amps, that's a hint to us that that is the current. The power rating on this refrigerator is 750 watts. Let's try another one. What is the resistance of a 75 watt light bulb? Since P is equal to I times delta V and I is equal to delta V over R, that's Ohm's law, what we're going to do is, if I is equal to delta V over R, I'm going to take delta V over R and put it in right there in place of that I. So that's going to give me delta V over R, delta V over R, times delta V is equal to P. Now we want to solve this for the resistance because that's what's asked. So I trust that you can manipulate that algebraically for the resistance. A light bulb in the United States is screwed into a standard electrical socket, which has a 120 volt pressure difference. Square that, divide by the 75 watts, and the resistance of this light bulb is about 190 ohms. For a 100 watt light bulb, we could go through this same exercise. We will end up with the same relation that we did above, and we'll find, with the denominator changed, that a 100 watt light bulb has less resistance, which shouldn't surprise us. For the same pressure difference, 120 volts, we should get more current through a 100 watt light bulb, because we know that 100 watt bulbs are brighter, so for the same pressure difference we need to have a lower resistance to get that higher current. Let's summarize electric power. The electric power consumed by a resistor is the product of the current flowing through the resistor and the potential difference across it. According to this equation in yellow, where power is in watts, current is in amps, and the pressure difference is in volts.